Thank you for joining us. A massive fire overnight in Plainfield Township destroyed a Kent County business. Take a look at this drone video we have here showing the flames from above overnight engulfing the entire building. Now this is what it looked like after the sun came up. Today investigators trying to determine how it all started. Dozens of firefighters helped battle that blaze overnight. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker is joining us now live from there. Charlie, what have you learned? Well, Kirk, I can tell you at one point, 50 or 60 firefighters, uh, individuals were on scene here at this industrial park off Mill Creek as this fire continued to burn. A number of them had been called back as of this morning. It's unclear how many are still part of this effort. We did get a look at an overhead shot from a gentleman who was over here taking drone video, and it did look as if the scene had been mostly cleared. The fire was mostly out. We are told by the uh, district fire chief of Plainfield Township that the uh, effort has largely transitioned to the cleanup phase with crews from Eagle and various hazmat teams on scene here just because of the nature of what this facility does. They store contaminated oil. Could have been far worse is what we're told. More on that in just a moment. But first, take a look. This is what the situation was. What we saw shortly after the fire broke out around 5.30 Sunday morning in one section of the building. They got it contained. It rekindled or there was uh, another fire that they did not detect. That uh, manifested itself later in the day on Sunday, fully involved. At one point, crews had to shut down 131 in this area as they continued to respond. That is still affected today. Now we're told this facility again extracts oils and other flammable chemicals, meaning a hazmat squad had to jump in to prevent contamination. And so when we arrived here the second time, a lot of that stuff was on fire along with vehicles. So there's a lot of um, loose oils that are on the ground that are accumulating and we wanted to make sure it's uh, be environmentally friendly as possible to get that cleaned up. So the hazmat team is here to help us do that, get that cleaned up right away. Now, we are told there was no risk to the public, but uh, contamination is a factor, some surface contamination. Eagle again on scene trying to determine the extent of that and what the mitigation plan will be moving forward. Now, they sure aren't still what sparked it or what uh, caused it to rekindle later in the day, if that is in fact what happened. That will certainly be a question investigators are asking as this transitions from a response into a cleanup. We're live here. Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side. Thank you, Charlie. Let's talk.